Hi right, guys. Well, it just turned into a fine but windy afternoon. Here in the end times on Sunday afternoon, August, August, listen to me, September 12th, 2021. So I'm making the last gasp trip to the corn field. Looking at this beautiful line of okra, I have no idea why I planted this okra. I have not had one meal of okra, but uh, okra is a beautiful plant and the flowers I just haven't felt like eating any. I am just making one very last trip of 2021 to the cornfield, uh, what's left of it, to see if I can scrounge maybe a dozen ears. So, well I see my four foot fence is uh, <laughs> This is what the deer have left me. The, the four foot fence seemed to work, so the deer have pretty much finished off the cornfield, which is fine with me, but we're gonna go through, see if we can scare up a dozen ears of this fine silver queen corn. All right. See what the deer missed. Man, look at that fine corn. All right, it looks like I still have, um, I got about 30 peppers, got about 100 tomatoes, no telling how many green beans. Okay, but we're going for a dozen years of corn, but it has been a it has been a bittersweet summer in the cornfield. As it were a bittersweet summer. Alright. Okay, dear. Yeah, I guess you're not going to come get these since uh, on this side of the fence. I mean, I could go through there and <laughs> try to uh, pick through, but oh well. I'm going to have some corn-fed venison around Bugs in a Jar Farm if anyone wants to come hunt some corn-fed venison. You're welcome to come out here and hunt in season. I am not a deer hunter, but I have no problem. I tell my neighbors they are welcome. Welcome to come hunt all of the deer they want to here. And uh, bugs in a jar. Oh, Lord. Well, most of these I missed. The, most of these have gone to seed. I have not been out here in a week. So, uh. A bittersweet last journey. Good God, what was I thinking planting these cherry tomatoes? Jesus. How many dozens, if not hundreds, of these cherry tomatoes will never be enjoyed by anybody. I will never again. Well, that's not true. What I'm going to do next year, I am going to plant one cherry tomato right on uh, <clears throat> my, uh, right by the front door in a hanging basket. Cherry tomatoes actually make beautiful hanging baskets. So anyway, I set out my green manure crops about four days ago. Look at that. So this is a combination of clover, hairy vetch, and uh, 
annual ryegrass for my green manure to get my soil ready for next year, although I don't know what I'm getting ready for next year. I'm uh, just going to be ready for anything, I guess. I'm going to plant a... Uh, I'm going to plant a few of Kentucky Wonder pole beans next year, but I'm going to plant the hyacinth runner bean and the scarlet runner bean. I went and raided somebody's hyacinth runner bean. Uh, I mean, you can eat them, but they're more to look at. So I think we're going to go into the flower business next year. That bugs in a jar and start a flower farm over here man am i up to a dozen i think i might get right at a dozen ears but i got to go over to the other side oh. I'm not sure who is pull, actually pulling the ears out of the, uh, actually pulling the ears out of the stalks. Anyway, who cares? One more. I've already got about a hundred ears of this stuff already uh, packaged up in the freezer. Look at those collards. Good Lord, look at those gorgeous collards that no one will ever eat. Still might get some broccoli. I have four broccolis left to come in and uh, doing one more batch of lettuce and spinach to go along with my uh, tomatoes for my BLTs. I'm hoping to get another 30 BLTs out of this garden. It's all about tomatoes and lettuce. These are the the asparagus bed. So we will see if we get any asparagus next year. But uh, here comes one more thing of lettuce. Racing the clover. <sighs> And the 500 pounds of damn beans I never picked. Let me go ahead and pick some maters while I'm here. Get out there and pick some maters while you still can, my guys.